Cheech, what the heck are you doing, man? Oh, man, are we live now? Yeah, man, we're live. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm supposed to introduce you. Hey, man, uh, this is Cheech Marin, and uh, you're watching TD Mayday. Keep it Mayday, man. Thanks, Cheech, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, guys, we are at Leesville Lake, and Mayday to you, mateys. Hey. Nice day out, beautiful day. 77 degrees, a little overcast, breezy. There's a front coming in. It's supposed to get cold this week. Maybe these fish will feel that pressure and turn on today. And we're gonna be out there on the lake trying to catch them while they're turned on. So, you guys are riding shotgun. Happy to have you aboard, love you so. Let's get out on the lake. Woohoo! Looking nice. I don't know if this is a day you're not supposed to be on the lake or not, but I've got the whole lake to myself. There wasn't one truck over at the parking lot with a trailer on it. There, there's nothing over there. I'm out here by myself, guys, uh, but not really. I'm with you. So let's go get them. Hey buddy Steve, you said you wanted to see bass sitting on humps. There you go. See this little hump coming right here? There's some bass sitting right there. And guess what? We're gonna try to put those guys in the boat. Start off with a crankbait. It's got a white crankbait with a pink belly. It's got a pretty big bill. It dives probably about seven feet throw that up against uh, the shoreline here and back over this hump and see if we can get anybody to nab it. Got him in the boat, throwing a square bill. Bounced him off, as soon as he hit that piece of wood, he reacted, he struck on it. Yeah, that was nice. So I guess the pros know exactly what they're talking about. Oh, that wasn't good. Hold on, little guy. I think I screwed his eye up. Son of a gun. Ugh. Well, not bad. I hope your eye's okay, buddy. Lord bless you. He'll be okay. Caught him right in the lower part of the eye. Didn't hit didn't really hit the eyeball. But then again, bounced it off that square bill, man. He nailed it. This is that square bill. When I say square bill, guys, what I mean 
is a lot of crank, unless they're lipless, the lip is square, okay? See how it's squared off? And what happens is when it bumps stuff, it doesn't, it kind of bounces it and it won't let the treble hooks kind of get snagged on the limbs or anything. They say bounce it off of wood. And that was the, uh, you know, the silver bottom blue side shad with the black top. There's gotta be another one in there. Where there's one, there's usually two. So let's get them. Show you guys what I'm talking about. See that log right there along the shoreline? It's got branches that are going down in there. See those lily pads? There's some branches sticking up. You can't really see them because they're just about a foot under the water. And what I did, I bounced that crankbait. I threw past it, reeled it back, and it bounced off of that uh, those limbs. As soon as it bounced, he nailed it. Jigging a chatterbait right now. Kind of off the bottom. Chatterbait. Chatterbait's a jig with a blade on the front of it. You can see that blade. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got a blade on it and it vibrates. And it goes, you can feel it vibrating as you reel it. It drives fish crazy. And this is supposed to be the best of the best, the one I'm throwing. It's called um, uh, the jackhammer. It does vibrate like a jackhammer, man. It, I can feel it like right now, just brrr, the faster you reel it, the harder and louder it vibrates. What's nice about it, you can jig it off the bottom, let it hit the bottom and give it some jerks, or you can just uh, wind it, swim it. Day. Is the sun in your eyes, guys? I'm going to put your glasses on, man. We've moved up from uh, the first cove. That's well, actually the second cove. When you come from the uh, boater's dock, moved up from there where we caught that fish. Now we're right up around what Turtle Beach is right over there. Right behind y'all is Spillman Dock. So whomever fishes this lake knows who I'm, you know, knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't fish this lake, pick your own name out. Call it whatever you want. You can say, hey, Mayday, get in here. Look at this. Mayday's over at Spooner Landing. Make up your own name. Leave a comment below what you named. You named Spillman Dock or Turtle Beach area. Okay? Do it. Okay, go, go ahead. I'll put you on pause. You guys do it now. You guys want to see a day under bird's nest? When we talk about that on our casting rods? There you go. That's a day ender, buddy, right there. This pool will not be getting used the rest of the day, even I, I'm not gonna be able to get that one out. I mean, that's almost my whole reel. That thing is, I've never had one this bad in my life. Oh, don't tell me. I think I almost got it. This could be up. Oh my good golly. Oh yeah, this is bad. That's the worst one ever. Ever. I think in history, golly, man, this thing is really bad.
Yeah, that's gonna have to, that's gonna require surgery. I'm gonna have to schedule this thing. Oh my golly, I hope it's got good insurance because man, it's gonna need it. Wow. Wow. Top it off, my lure was all fouled up. Couldn't even get a good reel in. Well, that's sad because I already have a snap swiggle, swivel on this one. I really wanted to throw another bait with this rod, but guess what? By the power of the fishing, Ensemble. Not going to happen. Still throw it short, but can't get any of those monster casts with it. Maybe this will work doing it this way. Or I'll have string all over my. Yep. I'm gonna have a uh, line all over my boat. This is like Jenga, man. Oh my golly. Well, no sense keeping you guys <laughs> hanging out <laughs> trying to figure this out. I'll be back. Okay, somebody call Guinness because this is Guinness book material. Check this out. Unbelievable. I actually got that stuff out. There's about eight miles of line to wind up. Probably have probably have knots in my line and everything, but I got it out. They made the mistake of giving me the world's worst bird's nest and bam! I came through. Jeez, I think I got a fit. Ah, stay down. Oh, man. That's unbelievable. In the middle of a bird's nest, I had some. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Sorry, ma'am. We'll be back. That's. This is, that's unbelievable. Great luck getting the bird's nest out. Bad luck losing that fish. Oh, mayday! Head to another spot. Going back in this cove back here. Just left yellow though. Saw a lot of fish, but nothing. But up here, this is where I told you, they're stacked up like pancakes at Denny's, baby. So let's go up here and see what we can do. Look at that. Cloudy. It's only 10 after 6. September 28, 2020. My second stick of the day. If I catch one more stick, I'm going to scream, man. You've got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. Now I got a foul up. I'm gonna cast right over top of you guys. Got a little hump back here. Need to bring it to fruition.
that square bill crankbait. I lost that sucker. Got it snagged about five minutes after I caught that fish on another log. It was so windy, there was no way I could get back in there. And with my trolling motor, branches everywhere. I couldn't even get back there to get it off, so I just said heck with it. And my uh, spoon, the green and orange perch colored spoon. Yeah, that's gone too. Got that bad boy snagged on something. I don't know who throws all these logs in the middle of the, you know, water. Oh, they are snags. Jeez. Nothing back in this cove. Through uh, a sonar, through, there's a lot of fish though, I'll tell you. You can see them. 71 degrees is the water temperature. It's starting to sprinkle. And the forecast called for rain at seven o'clock. And right now you can see what time it is right there. 20 till 7. So, we're getting back out. We're getting out of here, man. It's a lot darker than what this uh, camera's showing you. I guess it's got a pretty good light filter. But, uh, it's, it's dark, man. Getting dark. In about 10, 15 minutes, it will be dark. We got a mayday down here. Don't know what the hell's going on here. Way home. Don't know if that's a controlled burn, but it doesn't look good. Good thing the rain's coming. Yeah, that's a controlled burn. Oh, that's a bonfire, baby. Mayday! Well, guys, we are home. And one fish. I'll take that. Like to have a lot more. I lost that one. Couldn't believe that getting out of bird's nest out of my line and uh that thing hit must not have had him i didn't set the hook or anything because i didn't even realize he was on there but it's nice nice to have it but nice to get him in the boat but uh what the heck just plugging my uh boat batteries in. I've got two batteries. One's a deep cycle and that runs a trolling motor. It's dedicated. And then I have a starting battery, a crank battery. Pretty sure it's a crank battery, not a deep cycle, but I just put a little black and decker trickle charger on it. And uh, when I go out, I got a full battery every time. So I'm glad you guys got a chance to see me finally catch a fish, man. I didn't think it was ever going to happen again. Glad it did. But anyway, uh, thanks for being with me, and uh, until next time, we'll get out there and get them again. But like I say, keep freaking reaching for the stars, because or reaching for the sky, because if you only reach the stars, it's better than not than to have not reached at all. Boy, I screwed that one up. Anyway, got to see a bonfire on the way home and everything. You guys, we're rocking. Thanks for being with me, guys. Truly am grateful to have you. We're up to 30 subscribers now, last time I checked. And uh, let's keep them going. Till then, the next time, Mayday. You guys know what the Mayday is. Mayday is out.